what up people and welcome back to the channel so today's video is going to be a revamp of my daughter's desk area um i did do like a whole room makeover for her last year around this time because it's her birthday but i just wanted to spruce it up because as you can see the desk was kind of looking a bit old and i actually wanted to create more of um spacious area on the top because she does get into art a lot and she doesn't have a lot of space like she told me so we're just gonna revamp it i did pick up this um contact paper from dollar tree and ironically you don't really find the marble one as often as you find the other ones but definitely snag this one and um i do feel that i will have to go back to kind of finish it because i did need it this to wrap around the front where the most of the damage area was I'm not getting the best lighting in this corner because it really is none but this is as far as I get now I could have took it all the way back there because it could have fit but I really needed it to wrap around this because oh it's dark because this is where you saw most of the damage and I do have little pieces that I can do back there however I really wanted to cover that top layer there so that it could match so I think I might leave that the way that it is now and then make a Dollar Tree run later uh oh make a Dollar Tree run later or I'll try to figure out a way to hide it either way I'm okay with this in the back I don't think it'll be seen we'll cover it up nicely and go with it so because she used this area a lot like an art station, I wanted to put lighting in here. She did have like a lava lamp situation going on, but it wasn't giving accurate lighting, at least not good enough if you're drawing or stenciling. So ironically, this lamp made a full circle because this was in her old room and it was just sitting in our garage. So I just repurposed the lamp that we already had. I do want to spruce up the shade eventually. But um, yeah, it gave off a lot more light, especially for her eyes. I want her eyes to be protected when she is stenciling because she does do a lot of detail work when she's doing her eyes. I actually should include some of her pics <laughs> in here. Anyway, um, the shelf that you see my husband install, I actually had this on hand sitting <laughs> and I bought it from Target like probably a year ago for like $2.50 when it was on sale good bargain and the idea is to put her art books in here so that's the reason why you see me um, um, attaching some felt to the bottom because I didn't want the books to kind of slide out from under because she does have different variation heights in um, art books and usually when she's done with a book we kind of recycle with putting a new one up and putting the old one in her little cabinet beneath so this just act as an extra storage to give a more desktop space by storing the art books or her books on on the shelves. pegboard set she got for Christmas um, last year but I did find this on sale at Walmart I think when I got it, it was like three or five dollars and it came comes to in a set um, and it comes with these different colors I was gonna spray paint it because as you can see they come gray and um, I spray painted them white so that it can match her um, area but the little cups and the other extra pieces is coming like pastel colors which I think will still go in this area with the little um, color variation she has with her um, art books and her crayons and um, stencils and all that stuff so I think it would go so we're just gonna try fit and put that together these do come with their own little sticky pads as you can see on the back that you could just peel off and stick it on the wall so now I'm just gonna stick these on um, and um, kind of dry fit it to see how high or low I want I don't want it to be too high
though I was just doing the desk area, I really wanted to get her a new rug. Like, the rug that she had on her floor was the rug I got her last year for her birthday, and that has seen better days. I mean, look at this. Like, my husband thought this was the idea to do the throw the rug in there, and like, for real though, like messing up the dollhouse and everything, like, really. Anyway, so I wanted to get her a new rug and I did pick this one up from Ross for $35 and I do love all the color variation in this rug. It actually complements her room to the T. Every color combination in this rug bring out the color in the room and it's a larger rug than it was before. So I definitely wanted to change that out. This one is a, a more comfier, it is wider, it is bigger and it definitely needed something to spruce it up as you can see our floor I mean the floors are beautiful uh, hubby and I saw them when we moved into the house but if you have kids you know that in their area where that's the playroom or a bedroom or whatever you need some type of carpet because the amount of jumping through and playing and the stuff that you just need some type of extra support so Subscribe for fun times because this is the type of thing that goes on. Okay, so just put the rug down and this rug is actually a good quality rug. The one thing that, well, two things that I like about this rug that I noticed when I was in the store because it was two of them that I was comparing it to. This one has like a light cushion into it. So it's not as, the, it's not like the shag one. So it made it very easy to vacuum, which is something I like is the shag one was hard to vacuum, which probably there is the reason why it got dirty so quick. And then the second feature that I like about it is that it has uh, already built in grips. So it's not going to be moving around and I didn't have to buy an underlay underneath this. So I would give this rug <laughs> a 10 out of 10 for me. I mean, it was a good price, $35 at Ross can't beat that. And this is a five by seven. Her previous rug was like a four by six. So this is wider. So I guess the real question now is to see how this is going to look in the next three to six months because it is lighter. It does have all the color tones in a room, but you know, Kids, light tone rugs, always not the best feature. But the next good feature about this rug is it is machine washable. It's lightweight, so I could probably throw this in my um, um, washing machine and just let it air dry on the fence. So that's the detail on this rug. Check your local Ross, you might be surprised. Yes. It's easier to vacuum, so vacuum your responsibility as always. Yes. Did you hear that? Vacuum. Say it on camera. Vacuum. My responsibility. Right. But I'm trying to you ever try to vacuum <laughs> Because I was explaining it. Yeah, I was just trying to get the uh, top one really. Oh. 